Welcome to Home Service Happy Hour, brought to you by Service Monster. If I could go back in time and recruit the way I do now, I don't know if I'd be doing what I do now because I would have stayed running all the businesses we had because it wouldn't have sucked as bad as it did because I would have had phenomenal employees. But I didn't, and I, and I, I have a hard time like convincing all the people I coach and work with to invest more in recruiting. Like everybody's gun shy to do it, and the simplest way I can put it is. We all know what it's like when an employee doesn't show up and you're left being the the full-time backup for everybody and you're wondering if they're gonna show up and they're and you're glad when they show up nine minutes late like we've all been there we've all done that that's part of like learning and growing a business we also all know what it's like when you have that one awesome employee that just shows up every day and is like early and like does shit without you even asking (laughs) and and we don't know how we lucked into them. And the funny thing is, like, there's tons of them out there. But just like anything, you have to be willing to invest and you have to build the system to go get them. I was talking to, um, I do some coaching in Ryan Lee's Landscape Lighting Group. And we had a, a Teams call today, like all employee culture related stuff. Um, and Clark, one of the guys on the call, had been, he had watched some webinars that Sean Day and I from Highly Chill had done on just our entire recruiting system. We had like five webinars on the whole process. And he was working on hiring some guys. I said, Clark, just go like watch each one of these and take what you can do. You might not be able to implement everything, but like take the things that are, that are like the low hanging fruit and go for it. And he did. And he's, and so he's got all these guys going. And as we're on the call, he's like, yeah, like hired four guys that worked really well and and two are just like total studs and two are like pretty good. And they, you know, one guy shows up a little bit late. And the other guy shows up a little bit late. And so as he's like talking through this, he's like, so I guess like they're, they're really good compared to what I used to have. But now that I know how to recruit more people, I probably should just go like, I should just go hire better people and get rid of those two guys. <laughs> it's really funny watching him because all of a sudden he's like, oh, like, I don't need to put up with that. Like, I know how to go find more of the guys that are really good. It's like, why am I why am I putting up with these guys that like are okay and are comfortable on a roof? I should just fire them and go get two more guys because now I'm now I have a system to actually go find those two guys instead of just like hiring the next okay person that shows up. And it was like mm-hmm. he, he had this epiphany while he was on the call, and it was really funny. Like the confidence to be like, oh. No, like, no, you're not going to hold me hostage. You're fired, and I'm going to go replace you. And he's like, and I I preach building a list. Like, have 10 people recruited that you can't even hire right now because you don't have a job for them. Like, build that list. Know who you're going to call first. And it's it's scary until you do it. And then once you do it, you're like, I'm never not going to. Why would I stop at 10? Why wouldn't I have 20 people I'm going to call? Why stop at 10? And so, like, now he's starting to build his list, and he's just like, yeah, I don't know why these two guys are still here. Like, as I'm talking about it, like, they're good, but I still have to, like, I'm still waiting for them a little bit. You, you got to get rid of those two people because if you don't, the two good people are going to notice that you're allowed well, now with those two. And now those two well, good Everybody's going to be starting to show up. Yeah, you got four crappy employees. So, like, it's yep. like pick your poison. It's like, hey, you can keep going along telling yourself they're going to get better and they're learning from this, and but they're not. And it's it like, always goes know. the other way. It, it's always the like the bad employees don't get better. The good employees get worse. Yeah. Hey, Home Service Heroes. Thank you guys so much for tuning into our Home Service Happy Hour content today. I sure hope you learned a little something. And I sure as a heck hope that it was entertaining. If you did find it fun and entertaining, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel for more cool, fun, entertaining business content. And speaking of which, stay tuned. There's a little more here and a little more right here. Check it out. <laughs>